Folks, we're living in a modern era, an era that says driving ridiculously large SUVs and crossovers is completely unnecessary, and that's because of these. Yes, SUVs are overrated. We all should start buying minivans. And here we have two what we think are the best minivans or MPVs. I have a brand new 2024 Toyota Sienna. Yes, and this is the brand new 2024 Kia Carnival. And both of these vans represent what we think are the best examples of minivans available right here in the United States. And coming up, we're gonna put them to the test. And the first thing we wanna talk about is the first thing you see, styling. And it's not easy to style a minivan and make it look different, or an MPV, sorry Kia. So here's what we've done. We've taken two vans that look entirely different. One that looks very similar to a crossover or an SUV, but it's not. Mm -hmm. And the other one that looks... <sighs> more traditional, how about that? It's not more traditional, it's, look at it. I mean, it's definitely got a whole different look to it. You know what, I like recent Toyota styling, especially the headlamps, the tail lamps. I think they're trying to inject a little bit more life into their vehicles, including the Sienna, and I stand by that. Okay, and it has that giant mow in front of it for its really powerful uh, hybrid powertrain. So if you look at the Kia Carnival, the Kia Carnival has been stretched in such a way, design-wise, to where it looks a lot more like a traditional crossover. The hood was elongated and flattened. The entire side of the vehicle looks a lot like a crossover. Even the rear of it looks a bit like a crossover. So that was their point. And I think it's relatively handsome, but here's the crazy part about it. One of them has all wheel drive and one of them looks like it should have all wheel drive. These two may be very similar in size, but they're way super different in power because right here, it's all hybrid technology all the time. It's a gasoline motor, four cylinder in this case made it to electric motors and combined 245 horsepower nathan and also capability of all-wheel drive in the sienna yeah that is an option in the sienna unfortunately this doesn't have that but what i do have is smart stream don't exactly know what smart stream really is but i do know this this is a 3.5 liter v6 okay? okay 290 horsepower 262 pound feet of torque and i have an, a regular eight speed automatic transmission ah i have a C e cvt right right now i'm only feeding the front wheels there is no option in this vehicle for all-wheel drive. So your whole thing about this looking like a crossover or an SUV kind of falls apart because you don't have four-wheel drive. Yeah, and I have a theory about that. I think that Kia specifically did that because they don't want it to compete with their crossovers. But the best number here is 35 combined MPG, which is mind-boggling considering how big and heavy this machine is. Yeah, I maintain that all minivans should be plug-in hybrids or like this, a regular hybrid because Think about it. Families want to move around. You want to save money, right? And this and is also move in the city. Precise yes. amundo. Unfortunately, mine is not as efficient. Mine is a regular gasoline engine putting out 22 MPG combined. But we have to do something else. How about we take them on a short drive? Because I bet you the driving experiences could differ. Completely different, yes. I'm going to power up this machine. No. No, no it gave me one beep and now I'm in electric mode, which means I can gently pull away. Let's say it's early in the morning, my family is asleep, mm. I don't want to disturb anybody, and I just gently waft off to work. I want them waking up with a fright, just hearing me going <laughs> That way they know, oh, dad's leaving to go win bread for the family. Okay, well, all right, let's see how it accelerates. Okay. Because, yes, the, that MPG number is amazing. Right, but it's here's It's almost drive unbelievable. Modes. Drive modes are oh. right here by the oh. gear lever. Okay, little little switch. Uh -huh. I have Sport. Yeah. I have Eco. How about Sport? This is a Sporty review. Yeah, yeah Sporty time. Are you ready? Yep. Hit it. Whoa. The power is overwhelming. Oh. Uh, no, it's not really overwhelming. No, it's not. It's, it's a minivan, but actually it gets up and goes. Yeah, so that's 60. Yep. So that took, well, I don't know, six or seven or eight seconds. <laughs> Regardless of what it's taken. And we've actually put this thing on the um, Solo DL before, but it does have all-wheel drive, and the all-wheel drive system makes it fantastic in snow. We actually have a video showing that. So people can either go to alltfl.com or more specifically search 
on YouTube. Yeah, they're gonna have to search on YouTube. TFL Toyota Sienna All Wheel Drive. Right, because it's too late. That, thing, that that review was over a year old. Yes, it won't show up at the top of our feed. Yes. But here's the thing: the transmission, the eCVT, yep. electronically controlled, continuously variable transmission. That's Toyota talk. Yes, uh, it's 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 very efficient, but it's droney. Yeah, it's just going to sit at that RPM until it knows that you no longer need that much power and it's yeah. going to drop. Yeah. It's a very different feel than your average car. However, if you drive it normally, not with a lead foot, it's not that bad, but yes. can you hear the outside noise? Yeah, I, no. I, a lot of the outside road noise and these expansion joints I are coming. I can feel that through the canopy and Yeah, they're else. coming through a little bit here. And this is not a basic Sienna. Mm -hmm. This is an XSE all-wheel drive with a couple of options that is correct so it's on the nicer end but it's definitely not the very top i feel a little bit removed from the driving experience because the steering i don't get a lot of feeling from it yeah, at it's all. pretty light isn't it yes it's yeah. light there's not a lot of feeling but it's a people mover this is kind of i think par for the course isn't it i would agree 100 percent. and in addition that all-wheel drive system is completely seamless. It does everything it needs to do on its own and it will help you enhance your driving in general as well. All right, let's fire up this Kia Carnival. Is that how you say it? Carnival. I feel like I'm in a more premium vehicle for some reason. I mean, it just feels a little bit nicer. Look at some of the stuff that they're putting here like this, uh, you know, going across. We'll go over that a little bit later with our very special new feature that we're going to be talking okay. about. But yes, the seats are already much more comfortable. But this is traditional vehicle. So if you're used to regular automatic transmissions and regular V6s, this is your jam, right? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and this is more power. So you said it had more power. Yep. So I want to put it to the test. Now, unlike, well, you go ahead and accelerate. Oh yeah, here's the tape measure. Here's the tape. Perfect. That's for, that's for later. That is for later. Ah. Well, you know, this is also not a speed demon. No, it's not, but it is, it feels quicker at least. Bam. Yeah. That it, was 60. So it, it feels quicker to me. Um, and but it's, it's also more auditory, you know, kind of pleasure because you can hear the gear changes, mm -hmm. you hear the V6. Which is very smooth, by the way. Yeah. Can you tell at least the seat of your pants the difference in terms of ride quality? It feels a little bit more solid and definitely the steering is a little bit heavier. Yes, it is. And I feel a little bit more kind of engaged. I would agree with that as well. I think that the noise isolation is slightly better in this. Although, feel this in the corner, it leans a lot more, it, doesn't it? It does lean. I think it's the softer suspension setting. Uh -huh. So that's definitely a difference right there. So once again, it's a bit of a mix, you know, between the two of them. One of them is a little tighter and a little noisier, but it seems at least around the corners not to lean as much. This one is much smoother but at the same time leans a lot more in the corner. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to the Andre Monkey. The Andre Monkey is very special because he's wearing special sunglasses that have cameras in them. And he is going to explore the interior of this vehicle. And if this is successful, the Andre Monkey may return in another video. It's up to you. All right, I want to check out the center row and then the third row behind it. Of course, both power doors and this can recline. This can actually put away this way so I can enter the third row or I can move it this way to sit in and enjoy myself. So let me see how far does it go. Whoa! So if nobody's in the third row, I can slide all the way back and I can also recline. <laughs> Actually, yeah, this is why you buy a minivan instead of an SUV. This is pretty sweet then since there's this configuration is seven person i can sit in the third row i can move this up okay very limited headroom and my knees are sticking kind of up so i think this is for smaller people i'm just about six three all right let me try the kia carnival once again both power doors but this has something that's called rear power vip captain chairs which I'm very curious about. So, of course it slides back and forth, but has an additional feature. It slides sideways, oh yeah. And then, that allows me to slide all the way back, just like the Sienna does, but now I have power features here. I have a power extending footrest, 
and recline features here wow okay now if i wanted to put it back away i slide forward slide back then i enter the rear seats which is a little bit harder to do and i actually have cup holders but i have very limited headroom and very limited legroom okay how was it eye opening eye opening in the toyota i felt like uh, because the seats fold, I could get in the third row very, very easily. But here, these captain chairs, these VIP seats, yeah. make me feel as if I'm in a private jet. Now, bear in mind that Toyota does have an option on their higher-end vehicles to get this cushion to come out as well. Oh. So you get a little bit more comfort with comfortable seats. However, these seats do a lot more than the Toyotas do, and you have all that electric stuff going on. Okay, well, let's talk about more utility because there's also a door size, rear storage of seats, and also towing. And cargo space. Ooh. All right, let me whip this out. Now, here's an important point. These door openings, some minivans or MPVs have a very narrow section, which makes them less utilitarian. However, some of them have a larger one. Now, I maintain that the Kia's is pretty good. So, I'm just gonna go and whip from the door all the way open to about mid-level and it looks like it opens at about 29 inches let's look at the toyota from the opening over to here and it looks like the toyota has got an edge here that is just about 30 and a half inches so it is a wider opening interesting though the kia's doors are a little bit bigger physically so it's not about the door size it's about the opening you know that we do the eye gauntlet world surface towing test at tfl truck yes can we tow with no, these? Because there's no hitch. <laughs> but, but, there, but there could be. There could be a hitch, right. Okay. There is a towing package. And both of these vehicles are rated at 3,500 pounds maximum. All right, so you could bring a small, tiny, like a single axle trailer with you for camping. Correct, Amanda. Okay. I'm moving this out. This is actually, this is something that you can get later on with Kia and I'll show you what it does later, but it, it doesn't work with the seats up. Okay. So let me lower this headrest because I was moving it up for sitting. Yeah. Now let me see if I can, because um, I haven't done this in a while. The instructions are right here. Oh, now even a monkey like me can do it. Right, you gotta fold that though, or else you don't have a flat surface. Oh, this? Yeah, there you go, now you have a flat surface. <laughs> there you go, good boy. Okay, so, so this, is, this is better than a bohanka, I would say. Well, yeah, anything is. Okay, so while he's holding that down, something that you need to know, guys, when you pop these seats open, just like the Toyota, yes. if those seats in the middle are back or reclined, you will not be able to get these up. So you have to make sure that those are slid forward. It's for both vehicles. There you go. Now that that's like that, now you can put this in. Okay, so I can cover this up for cargo mode. Okay. What irritates me is that this mat doesn't work anywhere else. So in other words, if we pop these seats out, then I just drop it in the bottom. I don't know what else to do with it. It doesn't fit anywhere else. It's kind of a pain. Now we're at the Sienna. You can go ahead and open it. So if you get the Woodland edition of this vehicle, uh -huh. it's about a half inch higher off the ground, but it comes standard with the tow hitch. Okay. Right? But still the same rating. That's yep. kind of nice. Yep. So actually, I'm looking at this and this seems like the mechanism is very similar. Yeah, it is very similar. Okay. Um, and I think that's a good thing. Especially for people who rent these uh, and go to various places and have to get different vans. It's nice to be able to do this. And look how easy that is. I think, between you and me yes. and all of our audience, yes. this is easier folding in the Toyota. I had a little bit easier time, but I also have practiced on the Kia, so I'm, I'm not telling sure. You, yeah, but you're going to have to trust me on this. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and open it. The opening thing is easy. Just follow the instructions right there. So go one. Sorry, I'm not good at following instructions. <laughs> You're terrible at following instructions. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty easy. All right, now a big question about, first of all, cargo room and the ability to pull a four by eight piece of plywood or something like that from inside of here. Okay. There's a problem. What? In order to do that, you have to have the seats folded as much as possible, and most likely the plywood's gonna have to go in at a bizarre angle near the roof, and it probably- Is that because of the captain chairs? Exactly, those ah. captain's chairs are not supposed to be removed. Now, okay. if you look, what's what's the width of the opening there? It's like 49 inches, because so that's 
So a four by eight would fit. Yeah, that way. Width wise. Yes, but width not wise. length Lengthwise, wise. It would okay. be at a really weird angle to but work. But tell me about the cubic footage here. Thirty three cubic feet back here behind these seats. Okay. If you fold these seats down and you move the center row all the way up. One hundred and one cubic feet of cargo space. Okay. What about the Kia? Ah, let's okay. have a look. Actually, this opening is a smidge smaller than the Toyota's. Yes, that's interesting. And on top of that, this opening down here yeah. is bigger because this is 40.23 cubic feet of space. So it is Behind actually... the third row? Yes. Okay. What, what happens if... I can do this. Mm -hmm. What happens if I do this? Ah, uh, then it moves up to 145.1 cubic feet of space. Once again, more than the Toyota. But once again, these seats are not supposed to be moved out of there. There's airbag issues and safety issues. You should huh. not be moving these out of here. So you can fold them forward as far as they'll go. You can fold them slightly down. So if you're putting a four by eight sheet in here, it's gonna have to sit at a weird angle. Just so you guys know, there are various trims for both of these vehicles and the starting prices are lower than what we have here on the stickers. So for this Sienna, base price, front wheel drive, $37,185. Mm, Good luck what, finding one of those. What's the base price on the Kia? That's an excellent question. So the Kia comes in at $33,200 for a base price. So that's almost like three to $4,000 difference. Yeah, and that continues. So there are a bunch of different trim levels, obviously. So that one, for instance, the LE, the XLE, the XSE, the Woodland Edition, it goes all the way up. This one, the LE, the EX, the SX, the SX Prestige. That's what you're looking at here is the Prestige. So this is very top of the line, and that one is sort of a mid-level, right? That's where the big pricing difference comes in, and I think part of that is the powertrain because that's super advanced. So as tested, this Sienna Overdrive XSE is fifty-two thousand three hundred seventy-four dollars. All right, as tested, this twenty twenty-four Kia Carnival SX Prestige comes in at forty-nine thousand four hundred and eighty dollars. The MSRP. So I I have a problem. Yeah. Because all this video. I really love the efficiency of this van. Yeah, I would agree. And also the usability is not bad. No, not bad at all. Um, but you're telling me this is like three grand more? It is more expensive. The only way you can make that cheaper is getting rid of the all-wheel drive system. Oh, it's something else. Both of these are available with eight... <coughs> I tried. Sorry. Both of these vehicles are available with eight passenger seating. These are both seven. So you can get eight, but it depends on the trim. You know what? This is Colorado. We're, this, this is where we're based. Yeah. I'm going to have to take an all-wheel drive of one of these, but maybe not all the options. Maybe a little bit more simple. That's my call. I kind of agree with you there. And in addition, the fact is, is that thing is so bloody efficient for what it is. Family moving, having something that's efficient, Yes, you're paying a little bit more, but if you're careful with what you're putting on there, you can make it comparable to this. I would say that in any other state that's not a snow state, this is a superior minivan or MPV. Uh, Kia, they're going to yell at me if I call it a minivan. Well, thanks for joining us and check out alltfl.com for everything automotive in one place.